Hello guys, welcome to the channel. I hope you all are fine and doing great. Today we are going to discuss this very interesting GFG problem of the day. Notes that even distance. So let's move on to the problem guys. So in this problem we are given a acyclic graph with n number of rods and with n minus one uh, number of edges and we have to kind uh, we have to kind uh, count out the number of pairs of nodes that are at even distance uh, means that distance between two nodes a and b is even then we, we will say this node is a is a at even distance like suppose if uh, we have an suppose if we have a node like this just a minute if we have a node like this we will say these have a distance one so one is odd so these are at odd distance node if we have a nodes like this then these have these two nodes have distance two so these are even number of uh, this is even distance node so we have to counter the all number of pairs which have even distance between them from each other so here n is equal to three don't go on this type of input okay here input is like input input is like this if we have five the total number of edges then input is one four is first s one two is second edge two five is third and two three is uh, fourth edge okay i don't don't know why they give this type of disgusting input it will uh, it wasted my couple of hours on just thinking why this output is work so if uh, you are saying this is a given graph then n is equal to 3 and graph is equal to will contain two only two vectors of of 1 comma 2 and 2 comma 3 okay so here 1 and 3 is the pair which has even distance so answer is equal to 1 here n is equal to 5 and it is also same type like here we will 1 2 2 3 uh, 3 4 and 4 5 these four are edges so here you can say 1 2 3 4 and 5 so th this is the graph they want to show and answer is equal to 4 means 1 3 and 1 5 are have even distance yes 1 3 1 5 2 4 and 3 5 so answer is equal to 4 so this is how this graph work i don't know why they given this all like 4 2 empty graph oh, okay so don't go in i clear the input way how they will input you here they give you n is equal to 5 then they gives you first vector second third and fourth in any order they want okay and if you have any doubt then you can see it here in the driver code as well they are taken input n then uh, int u and v they are taken and push back u to v and v to u okay so i hope you will understand how they took the input so guys this is some complicated problem so be with me till the last unless you will not understand it okay so i hope you all remains with me till the last because unless you will not be able to understand it completely so guys uh, uh, so okay so guys what is the logic behind this so there are two nodes and they always have a single distance between them okay so this is always odd so what is the minimum distance two nodes should have so that they will consider at even distance minimum three nodes one distance between this one distance between total distance is equal to two okay similarly the next is you have three nodes between here number of nodes in between one number of nodes in between three here these two will form a even distance node so here in this case we have total in this we have total even distance node pair 0 here we have 1 here we have 1 2 because this have distance 2 this have distance 4 so 2 plus 1 with this 1 between these two plus 1 here so we can say we have total 5 uh, we have total 4 for 5 we have total 4 number of pairs similarly in this condition okay similarly as this is same as this condition so guys you will see for this we have pair with this for this we have pair with after one uh, node left 
so what if we mark these note like 0 1 then 0 then 1 alternately if you take a graph like suppose there is a graph like this suppose for a minute if there is a graph like this I'm just making random graph okay I'm just making it randomly without any pre okay so guys suppose you start DFS from this we have to do DFS now if this is 0 then I told you we have to take alternate 0 and 1 I am explaining why this is important step this is the most important and all and uh, I step cover in this if this is 0 then alternate nodes of this will contain 1 this is 1 then alternate node will contain 0 will contain this is 1 alternate will contain 0 similarly and if you see if you see all the path all the path uh, I just change the color like this all the path from this 0 we will counter this 0 this has even length similarly 1 plus 1 to even length similarly this uh, sorry similarly this even length similarly 1 2 3 4 even length 1 2 3 4 even length uh, 1 2 3 4 even length so all the zeros from this zero will have even length okay so this zero is cover so we can say this zero is cover now we will do with this zero 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 3 4 even 1 2 3 4 and similarly here 3 and 4 so this zero is also cover similarly from this zero all, uh, all zeros have distance zero from this as well you can check from this from this from this so all the zeros and all the ones from each particular suppose for this this have distance one odd two three odd okay only two ones we have so all the ones all the all the zeros pair will have even distance even distance all the zero one will have odd distance odd distance if we mark it as alternate zero one zero one here all the ones will have even number of distance between them all the ones will have even number of distance between them suppose if there is a node uh, there is again node there is again node this is zero this is one this is zero this is one so suppose mm, distance between this one and this one one two three four five six distance is equal to six which is even so all the ones pair will make zero now count that distance between one and zero suppose this is one and this is zero one two three four and five okay one two three four and five so uh, what happens uh, okay so okay so here distance is five from one zero distance is five odd here it is three again odd here it is one again odd so here it is one here it is one here it is one so we can say all the one zero pair have odd distance have odd distance so if we mark it them mark all nodes randomly 0 1 0 1 or 1 0 1 0 you can say in any way then all the zeros all the zeros will form a even distance pair all the one will form even distance pair so if once we found all the zeros and all the ones then we can calculate mathematically how many total number of even distance pair we have so what we will do we will take two variable even and odd even will store the total count of the nodes which will mark as 0 uh, mark at 0 even plus plus even plus plus else if 1 then or plus or plus plus okay then we are doing DFS we pass out graph we pass out 1 that means the current node even and odd we pass out 0 0 means the choice 0 means even node okay in markup 0 1 0 1 it is the current node is 0 the first node is 0 and minus 1 minus 1 is the parent node suppose if we are at this cycle from this we come to this from this we come to this node then from this we again go to this node again to this then it will make a cycle and we never be out of the loop so from here when we see oh it's uh, this is its parent node so we will not follow we will not follow this particular path and return uh, 
the calculation uh, from there okay so it will not make a cycle unless what we will do come here again come here we call it we call it then it will make a cycle okay as well if we see oh it is its parents because we are uh, doing function on our neighbor's node of a particular node so if neighbor node is a parent node so we will not do any functioning so what we will do vector of int graph current node even node choice and parent choice is 0 and 1 if choice is equal to 1 then my odd plus plus means my odd mark graph increment as well my even mark graph increment because my choice is either 0 or either 1 and for all the neighbors node of my dad part of current node if my i is equal to parent then i just continue i tell you i will not do any function if the current node is the parents node okay elsewise what i will do so okay guys if i is equal to parent then i just continue i will not do any work as well but i will do i will dfs my graph my graph now how why this is suppose this is a path in which i have traversing i am currently as this my current is this so my parent will be definitely this for the first node my parent is equal to minus one for the first node you can see i pass out minus one because and node value start from one so by this i mean my starting node is the parent node okay because it is a tree type graph has uh, which have n nodes and minus one edges so okay so here if this is my current node then this is my parent node and if i am traversing its neighbor this is ith node and i now i want to do dfs for this particular node and for this particular node in my function solve uh, dfs this node will become my current node and this node will become my parent node because for this my par my parent is this so what i am doing now my current node is my ith node even node as it is now choice is one your choice i will explain you why this and now my parent node is my current node okay i tell you current node will become my parent node now why one your choice your have a very beautiful property if i your one 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 zero zero uh, sorry if i your the same bits then it will gives me zero and zero and if i am doing work with different bits then it will gives me one uh, one then it will gives me one so, okay so what i am doing here so as i told you i am marking it alternately so if i am currently at zero then i need one i need one and if i am at one then i need zero then what i am doing i am taking your with one so how what can you say you can say i am taking this and this one if this one and is my choice is also one then i will go to zero so my choice will update to zero and if my choice is zero then my choice is update to one okay so if my choice is one then it will become zero if my choice is zero then it will become one this is how i am passing my updated dfs to my next code then i will return and after completion of this dfs my e1 have all the zero mark count uh, all the zero mark nodes count and my old will have all the one mark node count now what i will do i will take a variable answer and count all the numbers of possible pairs which can form a even distance pair with my even node and with my odd nodes and then return my answer by adding all of these so what is my count will return suppose if i have i have even is equal to one suppose then it means i have a single node then here count is equal to zero okay if i have two nodes of zero count means one zero two nodes of zero count mean i have zero one zero then here i can make one pair i have three then you can see this as this i have three pair which are zero mark means how many pair i can make one two uh, okay and three so i can make three pair if i have four then how many pair i can make here one more will occur so one two and three so three plus three is equal to six pair six pair okay one two three four 
और एल्स वेल आई कैन से आई कैन मेक एबल टू इफ आई माई ई वन इन टू ई वन माइनस वन ई वन माइनस वन डिवाइड बाई टू ओके वन इंटू जीरो डिवाइड बाई टू इजल टू जीरो टू इंटू वन डिवाइड बाई टू इजल टू वन सिमिलरली थ्री इंटू टू डिवाइड बाई टू इजल टू थ्री फोर इंटू थ्री डिवाइड बाई टू इजल टू सिक्स सिमिलरली फॉर ऑल द नंबर ऑफ नोट सिमिलरली फॉर ओड केसेज वाई दिस इज हैपनिंग बिकॉज इन बिटवीन Two even nodes. I have one this in between three. I have two in between each two zero mark node. I have one mark node. So from this particular one, I can make one, two, three node. From here, I can make one, two nodes. From here, I can make make one more. So you can see if I have four this, then from this, from first I can make three move. From second, I can make two pairs. From third, I can make one pair. From fourth, I cannot make a uh, uh, I cannot make a pair because I I need at least two nodes. So this is is equal to six. Or you can say this is the sum of starting n number, starting three number. Now what is starting three number? Now what is this three? This three is even minus one, even minus one. So you can say for even x, for if even is equal to x, if my even Is equal to x. Suppose if it is is equal to x, then what I need to say? I need to check sum of sum of sum of one to x. Now what is sum of x one to x? It is x into. I uh, just check recording it. Yes, it is recording. Uh, uh, sum of one to x is x into x minus one. Uh, just wait a minute. I just confirming it. Uh, for yeah, no. X into x plus one divided by two. Okay. So this is the property of sum from one to x. Like if we need to find up sum from one to four, then it is four plus three is equal to seven plus two is equal to nine plus one is equal to ten. So four x is equal to four. I have sum is equal to ten. Now putting four in it, four into five divided by two. 5 into 2 is equal to 10, so both will give gives me the same answer. So here x is equal to 10, but here I will need sum to x minus 1. Okay, I have 4 is equal to and even is equal to 4, but I need sum of 1, 2, and 3. Okay, so and if I update my x with x minus 1, then what will it gives x minus 1, x minus 1 uh, into x plus 1 minus 1, x plus 1 minus 1. This is x minus one. So, or or more formally, you can say this is this is x minus one plus one. Okay, for not confusing as well, many of you can be confused. This plus one minus one confused. So this is this will remain x into x minus one divided by two. Same we are doing here. If we have even number of nodes, even into even minus one divided by two, even into even is equal to x, even into even minus one divided by two. For n nodes, we will count the sum of one to n minus one. One to n minus one. Sum is we will use the formula n into n plus one divided by two. Change n with n minus one, then we will go even into even minus one divided by two. This is also even. Don't get confused. Similarly, for odd, we will also uh, we will also put odd into odd minus one divided by two. And initially, I told you all the zeros. Uh, sorry, here we need to find out all the zeros pair, all the ones pair. So, how what I am doing? I am taking int uh, count. This is count function x into x minus one divided by two. And at last, I just written my answer. So this is how we are solving it. I just try to turn it. Yes, correct output. Now I try to submit it. So you guys can see all the 104 test cases pass out. Time taken is also like TFS, very low. So I have explained it very well. First of all, what we are doing? We are mark it. Oh, uh, we are mark all node 0101. Then every two uh, zero mark node always have even distance. Every two One mark node always have uh, even distance. Every two zero one or one zero mark node have odd distance in it. So we need to find out even distance. So we will take 
count uh, we will uh, we will count all the pairs of zero nodes all the pairs of one node how we will count it if we have even then if you have even is equal to x then 1 x minus 1 x minus 2 till 1 so we need the sum of if we have even is equal to x even number of node is equal to x then we need to find out the sum of 1 to x minus 1 and you know the first uh, x natural number sum is equal to x into x plus 1 divided by 2 and we need to find out we need to find out the sum of x minus 1 natural number here even is equal to 4 here even is equal to 4 we need to find out only 3 1 to x 4 minus 1 so in x into x plus 1 divided by 2 when you change x to x minus 1 then it is x into x minus 1 divided by 2 means this formula and similarly you can put it out for odd as well then you just add both of them and just return the answer so this is a very interesting problem if you are new to triages and graph then you may th uh, it may seems to complicated for to you but if you dry run it for two three different test cases then you will definitely got it i explain it in a very simple manner and if still you have any doubt then just comment out i will try my best to explain you and for now you can like the video and if you understand then please subscribe the channel because it will gives me motivation to make more this type of content so i hope you will like the video as well as subscribe the channel for now you can check out my channel for more these type of videos i upload uh, daily a single video on gfg problem of the day so please uh, press the notification bell as well so thank you for watching this guys and stay tuned thank you